Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. They have a very special unboxing. Something coming from White Mountain Knives. I think I have an idea what this is. I'm pretty excited about it. Today I'm opening up with my large pyrite. This is the G10 version, the new version of the one that just came out. I'm pretty excited about this one. You saw my unboxing on this. The review is coming. It's pretty nice, by the way. Let's see what we got in here. All right, we got peanuts, we got a civivi. Okay, we'll put that over here. Let's take a look what we got here. So this is, ooh, the Vision FG. Natural G10 handle, set and finish, Nitro V blade. So let's take a look at that one. Typical. We got little manual, you know, stickers, products in use, a cloth, and the knife. A nice little pouch and a little cover there. So we'll put all this back. Put that off to the side. So this is the Vision FG. This is in JG10 and uh, definitely feels bigger than the one that I had a chance to check out. So it's got a deep pocket carry clip, very, very deep, uh, not fully concealed, but very close to it. JG10 is a little thicker for short, and it is reversible, so lefties rejoice. You can re reverse it. It's got thumb studs on here, and it also has, this is called, I believe, the Snex lock or the Vision lock or the Able lock. I mean, what, what do they call this thing? Oh, my goodness. The, sh the Sure lock, I think it is. Maybe it's the Sure lock, something like that. Uh, uh, if I remember, I'll post it up here. If not, it'll be in the description below. But um, this is Nitro V, really nice set and finish. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, and it's got jimping here and here. I remember the one that I, I tried. It's very uncomfortable there. So let's go ahead and try this and see how it deploys. But before I do that, nicely chamfered all the way around. No sharp edges. I do like that. Nothing sharp up here. Nothing sharp on the pocket clip. And it's a little ridiculous how high that is. And it's rather thin. The fact that this is way higher than this. That's a little off. I mean, it'd be better if this was bent forward a little bit. If this was mine, which this is mine, but I bought this for, you know, with an intent in, in mind. But if, if I was to keep this, I would probably bend this forward a little bit because I don't like this really crazy high bill here. Anyways, uh, let's look at the centering. Is it pretty centered? Yeah, dead nut centered. Beautiful backspacer, uh, backspacer here. And this is the Snex lock, I believe, or sh sure, secure lock or... Something like Sherlock or something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and flip it and see what happens. Really nice. Looks like a reverse Tonto, Sheep's Foot, Modified, Warren Cliff, whatever we want to call this. Nice flat grind all the way from down here, all the way to the top. It stops the, it's almost like a full flat grind about right here and then not here. Comes to a very thin edge, very sharp. Designed by Snex, right? And this is, does it say on here if it's, uh, okay, well, let's try to close it and see how this works. All right. That is much easier to work than the one I tried. And it is works to actions much better, I will say. Now, that other one that I got a chance to try, a wonderful subscriber allowed me to check it out. Um, really cool. But it was, um, I will say, that particular that particular knife, uh, he had the phosphor bronze washers, the skiff phosphor, phosphor bronze washers, very thick ones. So the action was very different. I like the action on this. Definitely is a little easier to work. And I think the other one, you really had to hold that. So it does reverse nicely. Oh, ooh, ooh, let's see that. Can I do that? Mm -hmm. Let me try that again. I thought I could, I thought I could middle finger flick that. Oh, I can. So let's do that again. There we go. So you have multiple ways to deploy it. Yeah, I can reverse flick that. So that's cool. That's nice. Can you, oh, you. Well, it would be funny if the, the jimping here was just enough so you could front flip it, right? Because it's not it's not high enough, really. But there's the... That is the lock bar right there. And then this goes into the lock. Yeah. That's very cool. Now, the only thing I don't like is this. This is, this is where... Same with the Vision R, even in the titanium. It's not comfortable. So... I had I bought this with the intent 
that I was going to probably make this a giveaway knife. And uh, I didn't know if I would really like it, and I'd want to have one of these myself, like the Quibit, the, the Civivi Quibit. That one is really cool. I like that one a lot, and I think I may get one for my personal collection. I think, now, ooh, that's a really incredible stock lock stick. Wow, okay. All right, so the good thing is, because that lock reminds me a lot of the factor on a magnetic one, I happen to have some of this um, PTFE. This works really, really well. And, uh, excuse me, I'm doing a video, man. Close the door. Close the door. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I have to edit the video here because I was interrupted. All right, so this, uh, I was using this right here for the um, the factor. This is the PTFE one. And so um, I wanted to put that in here and see if maybe we get a little bit in here, see if that works a little bit better. Why is it sticking? Okay, maybe we can go in here a little bit. Try that. That's interesting. Well, I don't know much about this next lock, but I, I don't, I'm not digging that. And I don't know if that happens on the regular Vision R. Um, you know, I only got a chance to, to check it out, do a quick review of it. It's not, wasn't one of the recommended knives for me, but everyone talked about this knife being so incredibly great. And so I bought it for the, for the fact of a get, wow. Okay. Maybe the powder doesn't work, so let's try. Let's try a little bit of oil and see if that works. Maybe we'll try that. I'm finally almost out of this oil. This is the heavyweight nano oil. I'm trying to use the very last bit of it. I have another tube, but I was waiting to use it. I think I'm done. I think we're finally out. All right, I'm gonna have to get another tube real quick. Be right back. So if you're ever curious, this is the 85 weight nano oil that I do use right here. And this is the 10 weight nano oil that I use. And then they have a lightweight that's five, five, uh, it's five weight. This is 85 weight. So let's take that tube off and see if we can get some in here. See how that works.
drop down there and see if that does. That does. Sorry, I got a little distracted here because I did not care for that stickiness. It was kind of a not very cool. I mean, I granted, I'm probably not going to keep this knife and all. I get that. But it would be nice for it to not stick into this little hole here. And I suspect that might break in after a while, but I, I've never, never noticed that before. So if you guys who have snack locks or secure lock or whatever this thing's called, um, have to let me know. Matter of fact, does it say on the paperwork? I'm gonna see if it tells me what this is called. Maybe it has a little bit of information on there. Get in here anywhere? No, it's not on this one. And it's probably not on here, no. All right, so there's no information really for it. So anyways, uh, don't know if that's normal, but I will tell you that with the Vision R, you know, it's, it's a cool design. But I don't care for this. This is just not comfortable. And, and what I'm comparing it to, and you can say whether this is fair to compare it to or not. You can let me know what you think. But I'm comparing it to, obviously, the uh, it, they're different designs, completely different designs, but similar in function. You have something that pushes down, it locks in. This one is so much easier. It's easier on the finger, and it works a little bit better, right? So this one I can deploy, and it doesn't hurt the finger as much. Now, I don't know. Are they... See, they're about the same width. That's interesting. This one's just really uncomfortable, and I don't know if it's... Okay, so this one is a little, a little more angled, and it has finer jimping on it, right? The 8020.5 by Andrew Demko. This is the one made in Taiwan. So, um, and then this is, this has little bigger, uh, not as fine jimping, but it's all the way up to the top, so. You know, I guess it's a matter of aesthetics. And, it, and you know what it reminds me? It kind of curves up like that. So it reminds me of Rick Hinderer, like the flipper. Uh, now, I carry a, an XM18 non-flipper because that flipper is ridiculous and I just would not like it at all. I had the Jurassic that had a similar flipper, but it wasn't as bad, but it's still way uncomfortable. So I just didn't want to deal with a flipper from Rick Hinderer because, you know, that's he could redesign that and then it would be perfectly fine with me. Uh, he might actually get me to be interested in a flipper, uh, one of his, but if without that flipper design being redone, that's, I have no desire to ever get an XM18 or XM20, uh, 3.5 or 3.0, not at all. But the non-flipper, I like, I like it a lot. I really enjoy that knife. So, I mean, I'll tell you this, it's not sticking as much now, but a little oil in there, probably breaking in. So that's good. Now we can get back to re reviewing the knife, right? Or reviewing, it's not a review. It's an unboxing, first impressions. That's what we're dealing with. Um, my first impressions are, I like the thumb stud. The, the thumb stud deployment's really nice. Gives you a nice deployment, works really well. It's not as tight as I would like it to be, so when you reverse flick, you, yeah, it's gonna be a little more, a little more challenging to reverse flick, I think. Yeah, definitely. Now, reverse flicking here is not as hard because I can leverage the, the clip, right? So if you didn't know in the Vision R that originally this clip was back here and it was used to push this down. Now this is looks like it has a pin to hold it in place. So that's what keeps it in place here. And it kind of works around that pin. And uh, then this lock the, it doesn't go back far enough and it stays in there. So on the original, you can pull this back and it comes out. The thumb stud works well and you can reverse flick it with the left hand, the right hand. It is a little challenging. You almost have to do a wrist slap because I don't have as good grip. Let's see here. Can I get up here like this? Yeah. So anyways, it's cool. It's definitely cool. I know some people are just going crazy nuts over this, and I'm glad. And uh, if you love this design, you will, you will love this one. Um, and if you've been on the edge and you kind of liked it but you didn't, you may love this design. Uh, I... I may be weird. I'm not sold on the design. I'm just not, and I'm sorry. It is my first impression. I think it's cool. I love the technology. I think it's great. This could be designed so much better. 
It really could. This is so uncomfortable. This is almost like the Urban EDC. There was a uh, knife that they had and they had this weird flipper. It was so uncomfortable. And if they could, if they could have fixed the flipper, just like the Rick Hinder uh, XM18 flipper, I, I think I would have loved it. I, I sold that knife. I had the Sagai pattern and everything. It was really nice, but it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. And to me, a knife is more than just a cutting tool. It's a cutting tool, but it's a, it's a fidget toy. It's a, it's a tool. It's a something aesthetic piece of work that I enjoy carrying and using and regularly flipping and having in my hand. And this is not comfortable at all. This little flipper, I do not like this. My finger is already sore, completely sore. Way sore than I would be actuating this one. This one I can put my whole finger on there and work it. It's much easier. It's not as hard to, to get there. You know, you, you can say for whatever you want. You know, you can't, can you? Yeah, so you can you can get past that shark lock because the spring, could you make the spring a lot tighter? Absolutely, and then it probably be similar, but I like the spring as it is like this. I think it's really nice. So for me personally, that's easier. And you see the angle right there? It's a little more angled, so it's not digging in with that one point. I can get to distribute the weight over that area as opposed to on here when I'm holding in all the weight is all centered right in this little tip point right here it's all centered so when I dig in that one spot is constantly the pressure point and I can feel it there and it gets a little numb and uncomfortable and that bothers me I wish it was a little different just if that grind was just a little bit different that would be so awesome and I don't know if there's some some patent some proprietary thing or whatever I don't know but that would be so nice if they could fix that. It would make this just so absolutely outstanding. Um, but it is cool. It feels really good in hand. Nice. Uh, again, this goofy thing is not necessary. It's ridiculous. Um, they could fix that, and I would. it would be for the better, right? Um, I would actually look to see if a different clip could fit in here because that is, that's absurd. That's, yeah, I'd bend it and fix it or get a different clip it's, that, that's just absurd so for such a nice knife this is this is absurd i like everything else about it the blade is nice and thick it is 14 uh for no nitro v i think it is was it nitro, nitro v i think it's nitro v yeah nitro v so nitro v is a good budget steel it's not as good as 14 c28 but it's really good it's definitely better than d2 or 9 mrv or something like that so i think your or 8 mrv those are definitely better better steel so that's nice um yeah, you know, you can choke up here a little bit. You gotta be careful, kind of sneak a choke up there a little bit. There's no jimping up here. It is rounded, which is really nice. It's got a nice flat grind, very sharp. I do like that. Uh, good grip on here, and rounded here. Everything's comfortable. I got medium to medium large hands, so I've got plenty of room. Extra large hands would definitely go over. If you choke up, you've got plenty of room, but if you even if you were to hold this tight, definitely lots of room for double extra large hands for sure. It's got relatively thick blade stock. I'm gonna guess that's like 0.12, maybe, maybe a little bit more, a little less. Uh, not a whole lot. Um, like I said, it's got the jimping up here. The thumb studs are really nice, rounded but volcano. They work really well. And it's easy to, to deploy with those thumb studs because you just follow the line and it does deploy relatively, relatively easy. A lot like a pirate, right? The pyrite over here, the thumb sets, if you follow this, it just deploys really nicely. Um, likewise. Like I said, the volcano thumb sets work really well, just like they do on the pyrite. Works really nice. So everything about this is pretty pretty good. So this is first impressions, first thoughts on this, you know, kind of give you my thoughts on it. Um, it's definitely a cool, I think it's going to be a great giveaway knife. I think people are going to really enjoy this. I don't like this myself. Uh, um, like, I don't love it. I don't hate it but I don't love it and it's not my cup of tea, but I wanted to check it out because everyone's been talking about it and I hear this is supposed to be the knife of the year, whatever. Um, just spoiler alert and, and please, you know, if you're absolutely convinced it's the knife of the year, be convinced, right? But you're not gonna convince me. This is, will not be any in any contention for knife of the year for me at all, in any way, shape, form, or manner. But it is a very cool knife. I love the design. I love the engineering. I love everything about it. I think it's super awesome. I think it's a neat design. I think this is a much better version than the Vision R, quite frankly. Vision R was just, this is much better. I think it's well, way more, uh, way, it's executed well, much better than the Vision R. I can't even talk. Yeah, definitely executed much better than the Vision R for sure. So that's my initial impression on that. And we'll talk more about it. Everything else I do like about it, you know, um, pretty cool. So yeah, there's, that's my, my initial thoughts of my first unboxing. So. 
If you have any questions about this knife, maybe uh, the unboxing or maybe the review that I'm gonna, that's going to be coming, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and love to answer your questions. And if you have any questions about the channel or suggestions for Rob's ramblings, please feel free to comment down below. I would love to hear them and I do appreciate those. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? If you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel, allows me to grow, produce more content, and just do more things for you guys. So I really appreciate that very much. Thank you. And if you've done that, maybe please consider hitting the notification button so you can be notified of future content. And if you've done all that, then hey, maybe go over to Instagram. Check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. You guys have a great day and a great week. Bye.